very, very angry when I see yeah. with people with uh, their feet on the seats on the train. So just as I feel very angry when I see people with dogs on the seats on the train okay. as well. And even though we have a dog, I think the dog should be on the floor, not on the seat. And if you're on a long distance train and you've got a dog, well, if you're going to let it sit on the seat, if there's room, it should be sitting on a towel or some, something to protect. Have you ever confronted someone with a dog? <laughs> yeah, I confront my partner about a dog <laughs> all the time. <laughs> because the dog sheds. Oh, yeah. and, uh, I bet when Janet walks onto a train, everyone just is sits up. perfectly there. <laughs> you know, the other thing, Nadia, that really, really annoys me, especially on the underground, is that you see families with teenage children and the carriage is absolutely packed yeah. and women have got shopping bags or, you know, people who are older people are or standing pregnant, up yeah. or pregnant and these kids, 10, 12 years old, occupying a seat. And no, I said they to, should get out the parents and to, make them stand I up. I said to some parents the other day, would you mind letting your children stand up? She went, they bought a ticket. I went, no. 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 But as women get older, as we go uh, through the years of a relationship, we keep trying. We look great. We try makeup out, we try new lipsticks, we keep our hair looking great, we hold our stomachs in, and what do they do? Elasticated pants. <laughs> <laughs> and it's men, men get stuck in a groove, they're like an old banger that's yeah. stuck on the rails going down the track, and we're constantly yeah. remodelling ourselves, mate, and talking to our girlfriends and, mm, yeah, you look good in that, you look good in that. And what do they do? Their waists get bigger every year and <laughs> yeah. it's just they ignore it. Yeah. And they've got all these suits. My partner's got the same as hers, all these suits in the yeah. wardrobe that he's never, ever going to get into again. Yeah. And he says, oh, yeah, I'm going to diet into them. And you take them out for a meal, and what do they do? They look at a menu, they oh, go yeah. up and down, up and down, steak and chips. <laughs> Last night, I went out to see Harry Enfield and Paul Whitehouse, and I had a really great evening. And I got back about half past 11, and I live in the city of London, and I got my um, sleeping T-shirt on. I was just about to uh, get into bed, and it must have been about midnight, and I heard that noise we all know, clunk. Like scaffolding poles. What? <laughs> what, you know, you just got over one clunk and then the next clunk comes. Are you putting them up or taking them down? Taking them down. At midnight? At midnight. So I put my sweatpants on, put a fleece on, put this, kept my slippers on, marched down <laughs> the road. And the office block opposite my house, there were two blokes and they'd been repairing the lights in a, inside the entrance and they had some kind of scaffolding tower. And I went, what the... Explicit. <laughs> you think you're doing? <laughs> and the bloke went, we're just finishing up, mate. Oh. Mate. <laughs> We're just finishing mate. up. He Don't was great. JSP, mate. No. At 10 past 12. And I well, I live here, other people live here. And as I was ranting at them, he went, I'm just doing my job maintenance. I said, well, don't do it at night. What if, you know, what about all the people that live around here? And I heard the window of, of, in the flats opposite open and someone shouted, God for you, Janet, we haven't been able to... <laughs> I am quite an intelligent person. I've Very. edited a national Very. newspaper, <laughs> but I can't deal with two new gadgets at in once. one week. No. No. So no. I got a new television and I can't make it go on the radio. I just can't make it go. It goes up to my choice, internet specials, all this Janet, old rubbish. I'm scared for the TV. Yeah, when well, I shouted at the TV, I was like Victor Meldrew at 8 o'clock this morning. But also, I've got a new washer dryer. Oh. Oh. Right, so now, this is the book that came with it. Yeah. And this is all in English. It's not like those ones you get that are in five languages. This it is. is a novel. <laughs> oh, and um, the thing about my washer dryer is that it's... It Very is, posh, isn't it? It is a posh make, and the book, to explain it, is 86 pages long. Wow. Oh, who's got time? The plumber that installed it said, the problem is, Janet, that the machine is more intelligent than you are. <laughs> Anyway, yesterday I was doing a speech in North London for uh, a very good charity, and at the end of my speech, which was, you know, uh, quite serious, but I had an opportunity. It was a ladies' lunch, and there were 250... Please tell me you didn't do the rant for them, did you? Yeah, did I you did a kind of toned-down <laughs> lunch. Right. But then I said, as there were 200 women in the room, and I knew they were all really smart, I said, does anyone have a washer-dryer? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm afraid I asked if someone could help me use my <laughs> new washing machine. And you machine. told them the brand. I told them the brand, and quickly, a lady put her hand up 
and she's now my mentor. With the oh. <laughs> Do we think proms should be banned? I don't know about banning them, but can I say, is this the same bunch of young people that are moaning, <laughs> they haven't got any money to put down for anywhere to live, even if they can find somewhere, that in their 20s and 30s are going to be asking the bank of mum and dad and the bank of granny and grandpa to help them find the money to get somewhere to live? And also, is it really teaching them the value of money to spend up to 6,000 quid on a dress to look like 6, some... 6,000? Well, that's what it says on my notes. Yeah, well. Thousands. Wow. Wow. One woman spent six grand, I'm yeah. told. But you look like a bad extra from Greece. I was out in <laughs> Manchester last week. And there were these women in these big dresses. I thought, what? Are they going in fancy There is no dress? such thing as a bad extra from no. Greece. No. Well, I'm expect. sorry. In my day, you had a uh, last day at school. You chucked your school hat off the bridge and I said goodbye to you lot. I never want to see you uh, again. Well, exactly. Oh. Exactly. And look how happy you've turned out. <laughs> <laughs>